Archer Daniels Midland says it has reached a settlement with the Department of Justice and the Securities and Exchange Commission to the tune of $54 million. The case goes back to 2008 following some questionable transactions by one of ADM's foreign subsidiaries. U.S. Senator Mike Johans is rallying the troops in an effort against OSHA. The former Secretary of Agriculture and 42 of his fellow senators sent a letter to OSHA requesting it stop regulations on family farms. Johan says in 2011, OSHA included on-farm grain storage and handling under its watch rather than exempting family farms. Johan says it eventually expands OSHA's oversight to nearly every farm in the country and sidesteps typical rulemaking and congressional review. Who do you rely on to come up with marketing strategies or any business decisions for that matter? A growing number of farmers rely on a network of like-minded people. Farm Director Al Pell takes a closer look in this morning's analysis. Our guest here at the Agribusiness Desk is Chris Barron. He is a margin consultant. Chris, one of the things I'd like to talk to you about, and I know you talk to a lot of people that talk to a lot of people, and I guess is it really a, a value to have a network of, of folks in order to be able to get information? Yeah, it's huge. And how valuable is the network? <laughs> yeah. It, you know, in the, the last four or five years that I've worked with some of just phenomenal producers, the ones that I've seen that have had some of the best luck, made some of the best decisions, are tied in to each other. You know, they're, they're the operations that, you know, not just knowing what your neighbor's doing, but maybe more so knowing what some other producers that are like-minded, that have similar uh, situations and things going on in their operations, and so that you can compare information, you can compare notes, you can benchmark and see kind of where you're at relative uh, to some of the other producers. It's kind of like, like looking it. at a seed trial, except it's not seed, it's a way you handle a business. Yeah, and, it, and it's, a, it's a great business tool from, from the standpoint of marketing. You know, um, marketing groups is, is one area that I've seen that's, that's probably the most successful, where you get maybe five or 10 producers, and, th and those producers can all relatively be from kind of the same area. You know, you bring five or six producers together, you maybe even sign a confidentiality agreement amongst each other so that you can have frank conversations about where you're at on your marketing or where I'm at on my marketing. We can share that information and uh, we know that it's confidential within our group and it's not something that you hear at the coffee shop. And so it's something that you can, you can ask questions, you can get information back and forth out of each other and it's a great way to invite guests in that are experts in that field. So then you can ask, uh, invite an expert in uh, and, and get outside information and it just completes that whole networking process and and there's some pretty cool results that can come out of that when you when you kind of look to each other to get through difficult times instead of trying to figure out how I'm going to get through this time that's difficult on my own. We don't have to do this by ourselves, we can do it together. Okay, good idea, networking. Chris Barron, our guest here on Ag Day, back more and more. Ag Day, brought to you by Ag Explore. Nurse your soil back to health with the right prescription of Enzone and Prevent.